Hello Cancer, thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing a quick general reading for you for what you're manifesting um, and what you're bringing more of into your experience. Um, yeah, these are going to be general. I'm also going to try to keep them quick. And yeah, you can be manifesting these things um, intentionally or unintentionally. Um, but either way, you're bringing more of it into your experience. So let's see. Cancer. What is Cancer manifesting into their life? More of... Ooh, goodness, the High Priestess. Okay, so um, stronger intuition, stronger abilities. You're manifesting um, your intuition. You're trusting your intuition, so therefore you are getting more intuitive hits. You're receiving more messages or more guidance, or you're getting more connected to your guides because you are trusting um, your abilities. Okay, awesome. Show me more of what Cancer is manifesting. King of Cups. Okay, so this could be someone specific, or this could be um, even uh, masculine water energy. This could be you. So whether you identify as masculine or female, this could be your masculine energy regardless. Um, yeah, getting healthy with emotions, getting healthy with um, making decisions mixed with emotions. That's what I am feeling from this. Um, but this also could be someone specific. Um, yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have the High Priestess here, so it could be Pisces. Um, yeah, okay, show me more for Cancer. What is Cancer manifesting more of? Into their experience. Uh, the Hermit. Okay, so some deep inner reflection um, and realizations as well. Um, yeah, some inner work. Um, also, some learning. You're something specific that you're learning, or you're going to be getting diving deep in. <laughs> you're going to be um, going really deep on a subject, getting really into a subject. Maybe you didn't expect this. Um, yeah, this could be something that's new for you that you're learning about, or yeah. But you're connecting with it like you resonate with it. So it's like you're almost like exploring like an aspect of a past self, even maybe a, even a past life, or just something that resonates with you very strongly, like some sort of work or study or something like that, that you're connecting with. And it just feels like you're discovering more about yourself within this study, whatever it is. Okay, show me more for Cancer. What is Cancer manifesting? More of. There's a lot of healing involved too with whatever this is, even though it may not seem like it, what, what you're, ooh, okay. So we're going to have to look at that on the side here. Um, <laughs> with the hermit here, like I'm feeling like it's more than just the subject that you're learning. Like it's, there's something very healing about it, um, whatever this work is. Um, and now there's this weird energy with this deception or secrecy that you're manifesting or allowing in. Um, you might be connecting with someone and you're allowing someone to be deceptive or you're not. Oh, okay. So there could be someone that you're not trusting your intuition with um, and you are allowing yourself to connect with them and it could be, you could be manifesting deception because of that or secrecy or just like, um, yeah, five of cups. Yeah. Okay. So can I have a card for the seven of swords? going on with the seven of swords the chariot okay so they're secretly moving towards something or you're secretly moving towards something or you're keeping something secret you're keeping something secret so you're manifesting a secret <laughs> show me more King of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so it's funny because these are both sevens here. And this is Cancer energy here. So you might be choosing um, between people. Um, yeah, so you might be choosing between people. And there's 
deception there's a deceptive person with the seven of swords but with the seven of wands there's someone who's um, very I want to what I want to say is protective or um, they support you or they want to support you or um, they like like they they are there for you or they want again they want to be there for you it could be the king of pentacles so um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn but yeah you might be um, choosing to move away from this deception so that you don't manifest more deception which I can relate um, <laughs> So yeah, like you might be moving away from this to the seven of wands. I think it's interesting that these are both sevens. Um, very different energy though. Like this one is taking all the swords for themselves. Like this one's using one of the swords to fend off all the other swords, you know? They only they only need this the, the one wand. Sorry, I said sword. They only need the one wand. Like this one's trying to take all the wand all the swords. Like they're trying to take it all, you know? And yeah, the chariot is cancer energy. So you're you're meant okay, so you're moving away from this. You could have already manifested the, this deceptive energy into your experience. And yeah, by moving away from it, you're you're manifesting more of a supportive energy, also committed energy with the King of Pentacles. Like, even if this isn't an earth sign, this is someone who's like committed. Yeah, okay, and that could have this could have something to do with the King of Cups as well if it's an outer person yeah or you, you could be cross watching you could be cross watching or you could be getting involved with a Virgo too or a Virgo is coming into your experience because you moved away from this, this deception um, yeah you didn't allow what you didn't deserve that's what I'm feeling from this okay so thank you cancer um, lots and lots of love to you going through your situation and yeah bye